Yes. Hey, I'm Keenum, and in this episode, we're gonna talk about humidity. <laughs> Humidity is when there is a lot of water vapor in the air. So, if we say we have 100% humidity, oh, it feels like there's just so much water. And if you start to sweat, your body won't cool off because the sweat can't evaporate. So, what's better is to get some rest, make sure you stay hydrated, and if you can, if possible, maybe you could get a tool like a dehumidifier in your home if it's really that bad. Places like Texas, Louisiana, Florida that are against the Gulf of Mexico, those places tend to be pretty humid, especially year round. Other places in the world will have various amounts of humidity throughout the year. Usually in the summer, it's more humid than the winter. The air is usually drier in the winter. And if you live in a desert, the air will generally be drier there. Places like Salt Lake City or Las Vegas or even Phoenix, Arizona. There are lots of other places that God created on his earth where the air is drier and it's not as humid. And then there are other places too like Hawaii, for example, or the Philippines, where the air is more humid than some of the places that I just mentioned, like the desert. Oh, I want to go out and play, but it's too rainy today. Can't go out and meet my friends. I don't know when this will end, oh Lord, it's humid today. Praise God, it's humid today. I want to go outside and play, but it's too humid today. Feels like a big wet blanket, I don't know if I can take it, oh Lord, it's humid today, praise God, it's so humid today. Gonna meet my friends at 10, my friends and my brother Ben. The Greater Gator Pirate Sam, where have you all been? It's humid, so humid today. Oh, praise God, it's humid today. If you live in a more tropical environment, it can be really humid, and so it just feels muggy, especially during the summer as you get closer and closer every day to 100% humidity. We operate on a scale when we talk about humidity, zero to 100%, and the bigger the number, the more humid it is outside. Whoa! So when it's 90% humidity, and you're looking at the weather app and you're thinking, oh, 90, is that big? Of course it's big, it's almost 100, so it's really humid and it feels really sticky when you go outside. If it's only 10 or 20% humidity, the air is drier and it feels nice when you go outside because it doesn't feel like you're punching your way through a big old wet blanket. <laughs> haven't already you need to smash the big red subscribe button so you don't miss any of this math content we'll do it very often 
we won't just talk about humidity. We'll talk about percents. We'll talk about whole numbers, fractions, even the Mobius strip, and other crazy shapes that you might have never even heard of, like uh, the nonagon, nine-sided polygon, all that and more when you tune in to the Key Numbers YouTube channel. See you next week. God bless. Okay, remember, if the number is bigger, like 80, 90, or 100% humidity, it's really humid outside. But if the number is smaller, like 10 or 20% humidity, the air is pretty dry. It actually feels pretty good outside. Unless, of course, it's really hot, like 120 degrees Fahrenheit in Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, it might not be very humid, but it's really hot. And as we talked about in the other episode about the UV index, you want to always make sure that you take breaks when you play outside in the sun, get some water, play in the shade for a little bit. If you need sunscreen, go ahead and use some. There are many ways that you can take care of yourself when you go outside and play. And when we learn more and more about weather, we start to understand that humidity is just one of those many factors we can't control, but we can control what we do in response to it. I'm in Florida, but I'm in Georgia. When I go outside, I can't take it. Feels like a big old wet blanket. Oh, it's humid, so humid today. I feel like I'm in Louisiana or Texas, but I'm in Maine. I say, praise God, it's humid today. I'm not from the south, what's up with this humidity?